another tool in my toolbox, future me, future me .org. Um, very, very simple concept, right? But it's, it's an application that helps you to send email letters to your future self. And we always treat our future selves as some kind of strangers or there's this vague, misty, mysterious future and future does not exist. It's not real. However, by creating this mental model for ourselves, like, hey, there is a mental image of me. This is how I see myself. We can, we have a higher chance of manifesting it and bringing it into reality. And the way human mind operates is through building a relationship. So this exercise puts you in that illusion, but puts you in that thought experiment where you would create your future, but you build a relationship with your future self. And you would write, you can send it like six months, one year, three years, five years, 10 years, whatever, send it to, to your future self, right? And say like, Hey, future self, here I am in 2023 right now, recording this course, doing all this good work, <laughs> God's work. Um, this is something you can leverage and utilize and oops, um, what I want to say, and like, I'm going to just share a framework for journaling, very, very simple, simple, something you can use highlights, low lights and focus. And you can do the same thing. If you send a letter to your future self, this is, uh, like 2023, let's wrap it up. These are my highlights. These are my low lights. And this is what I'm going to focus in the next year. And you can do this on a monthly basis if you want. Um, something I'm doing with my coaching practice, I say like, yes, I encourage all my coaches to write through highlights, lowlights and focus. But what I'm interested in is insights and blockers. So something you can introduce into your journaling as well. What are the insights, the lessons learned through the time period that you're considering? any kind of blockers, obstacles you're battling right now. And if you're sending a letter to a future me, like, Hey, I know you've solved this. I know you've got this, but I'd be curious to know about solution. And it's, it's a cool experience when you send a letter and you get something like three years later and you're like, Oh my God, you look back. It looks, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting to have a perspective. So perspective helps, uh, take a look at this and, uh, I'm gonna just walk you through real quick into this exercise. So if you go to the future me, like there are different ways to approach this too. You can do this through the surface, but you can also here, I've mentioned an alternative for you, right? Something you can do, you can use a messenger, something like telegram where you can schedule messages and you can create a separate channel for yourself where you're the only one it's private channel, but you can schedule messages and do the same thing, but in more fast prompt type of basis, like they just quick insights, quick messages, and then receive them in the future. So that also serves, it would serve you as a reminder to think constantly think about that future self and that vision that you have for yourself. Hopefully that helps. Good luck with this.